Pinky, um, you know, I want to talk a little bit about these preconceived notions as well that people seem to attach with women and investing choices. I mean, we know that India, for example, is the second largest consumer of gold, whether it's happening via investment or gold jewelry. And there tends to be this linkage always saying, oh, women want to buy gold. You know, if you were to slice this for, for gender, Pinky, what is the true picture and what is the feedback you get when women come out and reach out to you and say they want to talk about uh, investment choices? a very good question you know gold for any woman it's for a jewelry it's not only for the jewelry but it is a tradition it's a sense of belongings and you passing from a generation to generation so the earlier days the woman used to you know store the gold in a physical form but the physical form has got many defects in the sense that you need to store it physically then you have a threat of a uh, you know, the theft, then on the purity, then where to store it and all these things. So now gold, you can, you know, um, the opportunity for any woman, you know, to um, make an investment in the gold, you can now have a gold ETF, you can have a sovereign gold bonds, or you can invest in a gold deposit scheme. But it is not advisable, you know, to keep all your eggs in one basket, you know, because otherwise, uh, you may not be able to get a good return. You can't put your all investment in the, uh, you know, only in the one basket of the pool. So there are many opportunities which are available. So everything depends upon your age. What is your source of income? What is a risk appetite? What is your requirement of the fund and your retirement plans? You know, so, so the woman has to diversify the portfolio to mitigate the risk and to get the good returns. You know? So many are available. Apart from the gold, you can invest in the mutual funds by way of a SIP, which is a regular investment, you know. The yeah. second thing is you can invest in the PPF. Then you can take your health and life insurance. Then is the national pension schemes, which will give you a very good, you know, the returns in your retirement. Then you can have it, you invest in your real estate. So you live, you can invest. So there are many options available. So according to me, putting everything in a one basket, I think it's not a right choice, you know, and you need to diversify your portfolio and to, uh, you know, which mitigates the risk also and gives you a good return. Yeah. And I, you know, and I, and I wonder whether that's a message that uh, women would not understand, Binky, because, you know, uh, organically women understand uh, the management of economics. They understand the need to diversify risk and are probably far more careful about investment decisions than men would be. Uh, Pooja, let me, you know, take off from there in terms of how you think the ways of investing are different for women. Because often what happens is that from the, from the point of view of people who provide these investment options, it's a one size fits all, which it is not. Women have different aspirations. They have different needs. They have different priorities. Uh, you know, what do you think women should keep in mind while managing their finances? What's your own top three or four? Yeah. So, according, yeah. So according to me, while let me just quickly get Pooja's thoughts in, and then I'll I'll hop back to you, Pinky. I'll be back to you okay. in just a bit. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Thank you so much. In fact, I was just about to take off from what uh, Ma'am Pinky Ma'am just said, which is around the fact that two fundamental principles should never never really be forgotten. Uh, actually, I follow a, a principle called EMI. Uh, which basically stands for E is for educate. So women need to really deep educate themselves when it comes to making the financial decisions. I think a lot of times what, uh, what, what women experience, and I've personally experienced this, is that there is this huge resistance to learning about finances. We somehow believe that we will not be able to learn it because it's so tough. It isn't. We were all born with equal level of knowledge and then some of us learned stuff and then some of us didn't. So we need to really invest ourselves into educating ourselves. Second is M, which is for monitoring. Once you've invested, you have to stay deeply connected with your investment at a very, very regular interval to be able to identify whether it's going in the right direction, meets your aspirations and goals or not. You can't, it, it's not fit it, shut it, forget it. You have to stay on top of things all the time. And last but not the least is continuously investigate and identify newer opportunities. Um, no investment tool will be constant in terms of giving you returns or in terms of meeting your objectives. As you, as you grow, your objectives evolve and so do tools, right? There are life stages where uh, you need higher liquidity. Now, in those times, you cannot afford to invest in things like land, for example, and you need more liquid sources of investment. 
versus there are times and there are sources of funds which you typically save for retirement which you don't want to touch and therefore things long term plans like a pf or a, or a land make sense at that point in time so it's continuously very important to investigate and identify newer opportunities uh, where you can invest and hedge your a uh, portfolio of investments uh, depending on what your eventual life goals are so i summarize it as emi educate monitor investigate and identify thank so, you Pooja, did you want to add to that what uh, what what do you add to the emi yeah so puja you rightly summed up so i would see i would look it in the way that right now the women are quite you know the educated the days have gone you know and you rightly said that even they would have a joint account you know with their husband but the husband only would you take the financial decisions only like as a name lending you know to be very frank then there was a second phase where the women's were working but their financial decisions were taken up by the women you know now now the full economics have changed you know the more and more women in the millions like to take their own financial decisions so according to me if any woman wants to make a wise decision of the investment she should be know the numbers you know that what is my income source how you know continuity of this income source is then she should know that what is my monthly expense you know to be very fair then how much is a debt for me whether how much is a emi i have to pay for my car for my credit cards from my home loans and all these things after that then she should set the goals you know that at least 20 or 30% of my income should be monthly as a discipline it should go to the saving depending upon setting after setting the goals then she should chart out that which are the kind of investment which is required by me for a saving you know for my long term and short term goals and my requirement you know. and then she has to create a emergency funds also because in such a volatility you cannot put your everything for the long term so you require that if i want to draw something for emergency for the hospitalization for the medical and all these things so at least she should be able to encash that investment so the liquidity of the investment is also there and lastly she should charge for the retirement planning you know nobody would like in this sense to depend upon even if you have a son to depend upon him for your monthly expenses even for the husbands so i think uh, you know and even if she doesn't have such kind of a knowledge you can go to a very track record good financial advisor investor advisor they would definitely help you are depending upon you know what are your incomes what are your priorities in life whether you need to have a money for the education for the marriage for paying the housing loan debts and all this things. so i think the issue should not shy away from taking even the advice from the investor uh, advisors or the uh, you know uh, who can help you and you can guide you you know depending upon your needs and all. 